you guys are here. It's fun to collect that money. Alright. I would like you to look up. Put on my phone. There, there we go. Look up Psalm 91 and verse 11. And I want you to look up Matthew 18 and verse 10. That's maybe you have to see that's what you and you have to write it. Yeah, Psalm 91, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Okay, read yours. Matthew 18, verse 10. So what do you think those two verses are talking about? Have you ever heard of the word guardian angel? Do you think you've ever, you've got a guardian angel? That's what those texts are actually talking about. That each one of us, God has his angels who are ministering spirits. Yes, Brianna. Two. Some of us need three and four. I would be one of them. Anyway. The Bible does teach that God's angels are called ministering spirits, that they are sent here to watch over, protect us, help us. Uh, we teach our children that they have guardian angels. Some of us have two or more. I'm going to tell you a story that I might have told you this before, but it's worth repeating. Um, is anybody here in first grade? How old are you? Five. Five. So you're five when you're in first grade, is that right? No? She's not her. How old are you when you were in first grade? Anybody remember? Six. Six. I remember when I was in kindergarten, I had to go to a different school than my brothers and sisters. So I always couldn't wait till we could go to school together so I could walk with the big kids. So I finally got to go to first grade, and we would walk to school together. It was probably, school was about a half a mile away from the house, maybe a little further. But we lived in the city, so you always had to watch across the streets. Um, and this would probably be in 1967. Have you ever seen a car from 1967? They were like dinosaurs. They were gigantic. So anyway, I'm walking to school, and my mother told me. And she took me to the side and told me, you hold your brother and your sister's hand and don't let go of it, especially when you're crossing the street. But I didn't really like to listen to her sometimes. And so we were walking to school, and I was really excited because all the big kids were there, and I wanted to show off in front of them, right? So we came to the first red light, and I ran across the street. And I didn't look. My sister was holding my hand, and I shrugged her hand off, and I ran across the street. And I ran out in front of the 19... 67 gargantuan beastie car. <clears throat> the car was so big and I was so short that I couldn't see the driver and once I got in front of the car the driver couldn't see me either. And after this happened, he was I mean he was freaked out. But anyway, so he's coming and I run across the street and I see the car and I know I'm gonna get hit by the car. And I just close my eyes because I know this is gonna hurt. <laughs> And he slammed on his brakes, but it wasn't in time. But something picked me up, and I flew through the air. I thought I got hit by the car. And the guy thought he hit me because I was flying through the air. But instead of moving this way, I went that way. And when I landed, I landed on the sidewalk. Never got hit by the car. And the guy, like I said, he got out of the car. He was white. He was scared to death because he thought he ran me over. Um, and I'm on the other side, and I could hear my sister screaming at me. Just, and it's like, oh, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> but I'm wondering, you know, I knew this car was right there, and I heard the brakes squeal, and I mean, I should have got hit, and I don't know why I didn't get hit. Do you know why I didn't get hit? <laughs> so when I got home, and after my mother gave me the lecture, she explained to me about guardian angels. And she told me, she goes, 
Because this wasn't like the first time something like that happened. But the car was, but there was many other things. Like I said, I probably had at least two or three. You just wonder what it's going to be like when you meet them. They're going to have gray hair. Because if there's an angel with gray hair, you meet it. But anyway, she explained to me what guardian angels were. And uh, when I went to school first grade, I got to go to church school. And I went and talked with one of the, the ladies there that were the teacher. And I asked her about angels. And I told her what happened. She sat me down and said the same thing. And she, it is the first time and probably the last time I ever heard anyone from this school quote a Bible text. But she quoted me that text that you read in Matthew about guardian angels. And she told me, she goes, that, you know, God loves his children, big and small. And God sends his angels to protect us even when we do stupid things. And she gave me a lecture, too. It's like, how many lectures can I get for this one thing? But apparently there was a bunch. She gave me a lecture about listening to my mother, listening to my brothers and sisters, and making sure I'm smart when I'm walking out of traffic. Listen, do your, your parents ever give you lectures? You get lectures? Tell me. They talk to you. Do you ever get lectures? How about you, Brandon? Do <laughs> you get lectures too? I used to get a lot of lectures. And, and at the time, I really didn't like them. But what I found out is if I actually listened to what they said, I usually didn't repeat the same thing over and over again. I didn't get in trouble again. Because uh, when I was smaller, when I was smaller, <clears throat> most of the time they didn't lecture you first. You guys older remember what happens first? Yeah. 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 Okay. Where I came from, I had family all over the neighborhood. They were cousins and aunts and uncles. And if you got in trouble at their house, they didn't lecture you. They punished you. And then they sent you home, and then your parents punished you, and then you got to lecture you. But what it did was it showed me to, number one, respect people older than me, especially my parents and my uh, relatives. And number, number two, to listen to my brother and my sister, because after that, for the next two weeks, when I walked to school with my sister, she would not let go of my hand. I mean, like, not let go of it. If she could, have you ever seen those little kids, their parents strapped into like a dog leash? Yes. If they had that back then, I would have They did. I used one. My mother would put me on that. But anyway, so listen. So you saw the Bible text, right? Do you believe that God has his angels and he watches over you? He does that throughout your entire life. From the day you're born to the day you breathe your last. Because God loves you so much. So never forget that. And if you remember, thank God for that. Okay? Let's bow our heads and we'll have a short prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all of these little children that are here today. I pray that you bless them. I pray that you will touch them with your Holy Spirit. I pray that as they grow, they will continue to grow in faith and in strength, and they'll grow in your word. For this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.